Hello there, and welcome to the Treasure Model T review series. You have just clicked on part four of this series, where I, Rayona Kadri, is going to talk about Shamir Baka. Now, for those of you who don't know, the Treasure Model T series is a series where, on YouTube, I show you how to do certain things with the Treasure Model T cryptocurrency wallet. In part two, for example, we set up an actual Treasure Model T with a 12-word recovery phrase backup system. That is what Treasure refers to as normal backup. In this part of the Treasure Model T series, we're going to do something very similar to what we did in part two. Except that instead of coming up with a simple 12-word recovery phrase for the normal backup, we are going to create a Shamir backup. Using the resources from Trezor, we're going to turn a Trezor Model T from having no wallet, no system in it at all, just the basic firmware, to having the Shamir backup installed into it, turning it into a proper cryptocurrency wallet using Shamir backup. Now, yes, I've been saying the word Shamir backup a lot. So what is it? Well, for those of you who know what it is, I suggest you skip these next one to two to three minutes. But for those of you who don't, let's briefly talk about what it is. Now, Shamir Backup is a system where, in terms of in the Trezor, uh, in terms of the Trezor Model T, instead of having a 12-word recovery phrase that you have to keep with you, and that 12-word recovery phrase is to be used to recover your wallet, instead of having that whole system of 12 words, keeping it and using it to recover, you can set as many number of recovery seeds that you want to exist. Yes, now there is a certain limit, which we'll get to later on in the video. But the best part about this Shamir system is that you don't have to only have one specific recovery phrase. You can have, for example, seven recovery phrases. Now, of course, it would be tedious to have to find all of those seven only to recover your wallet. So how it works is that you don't need to have all seven to recover. No, you only need to have a minimum amount, which again can be set, which we'll show you later on. You can set, for example, that you want three of your seven recovery phrases in order for you to recover your wallet. So you could give those seven to say one to your mother, one to your father, one to one of your friends. You could spread them out anywhere so that if something happens and one of them goes missing, all you need is three for you to recover your wallet. It's a truly beautiful system and there is so much to talk about it, but unfortunately it would make this video way too long. So with that basic explanation, I have provided you with everything that you need to know before we embark on this series, and this part of the Trezor Model T review series. So without further ado, I'll pass you over to Rayan with the Trezor over there to tell you how to get from an empty Trezor Model T to a Trezor Model T with Shamir Backup. Over to you, Rayan. Thank you, Rayan. Okay, uh, I have wiped the uh, Trezor Model T prior to the recording of this video. If you do not know how to wipe it, well, a part of my third part, the part previous, the part prior to this, has a section where I went through the wiping of the Trezor Model T. Uh, it is for this reason that when I plug the Trezor Model T in, give me a moment. Oh, okay, that's why when I plug it in, you will see that it says they go to trezor.io slash start. Now, on the screen here, we're going to go to trezor.io slash start. Okay, now once again, because we're using a Trezor Model T, we're going to click here on Trezor Model T and not Trezor 1. And again, they want us to make sure that the hologram seal was there, which it was there during the unboxing and the setup video. Continue to wallet. 
Okay, now right here, uh, once again, as we did in the second video, in the setup video, we're going to want to create a new wallet because right now I have no wallet to recover. So we create wallet. Now this is where things get different. You see, in the second video, we went with our single backup. This is the very basic single recovery seed with 12 words. However, what we're going to go through here in this video is the Shamir Backup. All we will need to do is click here to create with Shamir Backup. Finish the process on your Trezor. So I'm going to look up here and it says there, create a new wallet with Shamir Backup. By continuing, you agree to HTTPS slash slash Trezor.io slash TOS. So we're going to click on yes. New wallet created successfully. You should back up your new wallet right now. So you can either skip or you can back it up. We're gonna back it up. Okay, now this is the part where we are going to set the total number of, of, of shares, of total of different shares, of different keys. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna click continue. So this would be the number. I'm gonna choose a small number, not too many, just about three. Uh, you can actually click info too and it will tell you everything that you would need to know what this whole of what this whole process is. Uh, so we continue. Set threshold. This would be the number of shares that you need for the recovery process. I'm going to choose two. Again, you can click info and find out what the threshold does. You can click continue. Now write down and check all recovery shares. Okay, now for the last one, I just want to show you what the process is after you get the share. So instead of just clicking a button, you have to hold to confirm. So we're going to hold on to that. It takes about a second. Then it will ask you for the specific words. Now, whenever you write down your words, make sure that you write it in the order they gave you. You see here it says, select word one of 20. It's asking specifically for the first word in that list. So as we know, the first word is actually curly. Uh, select word 9. This is of share number 3. So word 9 of share number 3 was judicial. Uh, word 19 was recover. Oh, okay. You see, when you click the wrong one, it says that is the wrong word. Please check again. And when you click check again, it will have you write them uh, down. And this is another way for you to check, of course. Okay, I'm going to hold to confirm again. So word 2 is regret. Word 8 is blind. Word 20 is problem. You have finished verifying your shares. Now we're gonna click continue. Your backup is done. Use your backup when you need to recover your wallet. Continue. Okay, now let me go ahead and return to the other page. So as it says here, preparing your treasure. Please wait, pin not set. Please wait. So we're gonna wait on this. As the as the compute okay there now it says your treasure is ready all that we need to do now is to set up the pin now the pin the setting up for the pin uh, is actually very easy all you need to do is set up a pin lock in two minutes it's basically the same process as we did for the for the normal backup um, so I'll just go through it very very quickly Continue, and the Trezor Model T has been set up with Shamir Backup. Thank you, Rayan. Okay, now with that, we conclude this video and this part of the Trezor Model T series. I hope you all enjoyed and I hope it was useful for you out there who want to Trezor Model T not to have the conventional 12 word recovery phrase, but to have Shamir. Now, if that was you, I certainly hope you enjoyed the video. Now, recovering the Shamir backup, using the Shamir backup to recover an actual Trezor Model T, that will be coming up soon. So stay tuned, subscribe, make sure to hit the notification bell so that when I upload the video of how to recover with the Shamir backup, you will be the first to know about it. And with that, goodbye.